we come again once again to this table virtually God doesn't care how we come to this table he just cares that we come he's given us a seat wherever we're at we just need to show up we are so fortunate to have this table and we are so fortunate this table represents the life of Jesus Christ We often forget that there were more people in that upper room than just the 12 disciples. There were probably women and other men and children there as well, because that's what it took to keep this ministry going. Nobody was excluded from this table. Nobody should be excluded from this table. All are welcome. On the night that he was betrayed, Jesus took the bread and he broke it and he blessed it and he passed it among his disciples. He said, this is my body. This is my body and it is broken for you. And then he took the cup, Elijah's cup of community and welcome. And then he passed it among them and he, and he blessed it and he said, this is my blood. My blood that is shed for you. This is a sign of a brand new covenant between God and man. Take, eat, and drink, and do this all in remembrance of me. Let's pray. Gracious Heavenly Father, thank you for bringing us together virtually at your table. Thank you for welcoming us wherever we are at both spiritually and physically. Bless this table, Father. Bless it that it might enrich our lives and enrich the lives that we touch. Flow through us, Father. Help us to take this table to our community. We ask these things in the name of Jesus Christ.